Hi and welcome back to a new card making video. Today I also try out the Arteza color pencils for the first time. Arteza reached out to me if I want to make a video with their colored pencils and of course I said yes and I was very surprised when I opened this nice metal tin. The colors are really bold and bright and that's what I like. I love happy and fresh colors. I recognize that it's really difficult to pull out these plastic palettes with the pencils. I'm not sure if I will leave it like this or maybe I will store these pencils in a other way. For now I am back with a swatch of the colors and I also arranged them in a rainbow order so it's easier to work with them. While I sharpened the pencils I had about four of them that tend to break while sharpening but I had the same issues with my Kohinoor pencils when I got them and maybe it's my sharpener and not the pencils. For the card I'm making I stamped the rubber dance textured houses. Onto the backside of the Arteza watercolor paper I used the backside because it's very smooth and so it's perfect for stamping but it has enough texture to hold the pigments of the pencils very well. I was very impressed while coloring and I also did some tests in comparison to the Kohinoor pencils on other paper and what I have to say is that I think these are better, they are softer and the colors are much brighter than the Kohinoor. Of course I am absolutely no expert and I am not a colored pencil artist so I can tell you if these uh, are the best quality pencils you can get but I am so happy with them coloring in my stamped images and I think they are about $30 for the 72 colors and that's an amazing price. I have also a discount code for you in my description box, go check that out. I've speed up the coloring process so the video doesn't get too long. While coloring these houses I didn't think about that I want to make a Christmas card with them so it would be maybe better to color the windows with a warm yellow. For the background of my card I'm creating a watercolor galaxy. I'm using the Arteza 36 pen watercolor set for this and also their watercolor paper. I 
I'm using a dry brush to soak up some paint from the background to create a cloudy effect. When the background is dry, I'm using some white liquid watercolor to add some stars. To complete the card, I cut two hills where I can put the houses on and I color them in with the watercolors too. To create dimension, I glue the hills down with 3D foam pads. I finally add a die cut sentiment from Stamplorations and I cut it from gold glitter cardstock and also two times from normal cardstock and stuck the die cuts together to create more dimension. I hope you enjoyed my video today and 
and maybe we see us next time bye